giving an update on my uh, West Side Models K27 that I painted and uh, just got the uh, motor for it last night. It's a Maxon uh, 7 pole cordless motor. It's a 16 by 29 millimeter. It's got an internal flywheel. I bought it from Locomotion uh, on eBay and uh, I just have it rigged up with a uh, battery right now because I don't have my decoder. So I'm just testing it to see how everything goes together and so far it's been running good. I, uh, that's uh, 3 volts. I just need to go ahead and order the decoder because my local hobby shop didn't have it. There it is running in reverse. So I'm using a stupid autofocus won't work. I'm using Minitronics six uh, six prong plugs. So you can see they're running under here, and uh, this side will actually go up under the tender. I've already uh drilled the holes for it in the bottom. So I've got it set up. You probably can't see because it's too dark. But it goes up under the tender under the crossbar. So when it uh when the two meet together they'll uh they'll be slightly apart and uh, all you'll see is those plugs right there. And they're six prong or uh, three each side for a total of six prongs. I've used them on another uh, locomotive I did a sound decoder for and it worked pretty well. So I'm using it for this one. So just giving a quick update it. So here's the, uh, the motor I used. It's a Maxim or Maxon. 7 core or 7 pole uh, cordless motor. Uh, the one thing about this, for at least for the west side model, the holes are slightly too narrow so it won't fit in a stock uh, mounting plate. So what I did was actually took the old motor, cut the end off of it uh, where the the motor shaft comes out of and then uh, I've got an end mill so I milled the back perfectly flat and then drilled two adapter holes to fit this bolt pattern and then use screws to dr screw into this countersunk into that plate and then the stock screws will screw into the original screws that were into here. It actually worked really well it only gave about a I think about a millimeter of uh, extra thickness and it bolted right in because this motor is a little bit extra, uh, is a little bit longer to start with, but it cleared the back even with the adapter plate by at least probably a half mil. And then I just uh, you just cut the shaft down to size. And then the, the motor I had with the uh, the stock Sagami motor and the uh, and the worm gear was actually a, a two millimeter shaft. These motors I bought are 1.5 so I just used a Northwest short line adapter bushing. It comes with two of them. I think it was two or three dollars for the uh, the kit or for each one of them. Um, I just ordered it from uh, Northwest short line. Uh, their online store. They're actually really quick on shipping too so if you order from them it's a good deal. There's a part number 10161-9. It's a 1.5 to 2 millimeter. You only really need two of them. I also order extra because I tend to mess stuff up on the first try. So once you put that on the uh, the motor shaft, this will slide right on, and I just use a little bit of glue uh, to hold it on, and uh, it holds secure. Then you can snug the 
the worm gear up and then set the uh, mesh on it. 